Hey friends, this is Atif for Pure Well and welcome to the new update on Bitcoin. Previously, we were watching that the price action was breaking out the exponential moving average 21 on the weekly time frame. Now we have the closing above the EMA 21 on the weekly time frame. But at the same time, the price action has broken down the support of this rising wedge pattern as well. And in today's video, I'm just going to show you whether the price line uh, will be reversed from here. It will be moved more down from here after this breakdown. At the same time, the price action of Bitcoin has also formed another harmonic bullish reversal move. And I'll also share the complete buying and sell targets for this trade with you in the current video as well. And previously I shared uh, this bullish harmonic reversal bad move that was formed on the 12 hour daily chart. Uh, let me show you that was I think on the daily time frame. And first I shared at the Patreon and then I also shared uh, with you guys as well. And you can see that I told my members at the Patreon that the price action may complete this final leg of the bullish reversal harmonic bad pattern. And this was formed on the daily time frame. And after playing the chart, we can see that the price action exactly as per the Fibonacci sequence of the bullish harmonic bad move entered here in the buying zone of this bullish harmonic bad move. We had a very long spike, but it, it was reverse bullish and we had a very, very long rally towards the upside. Uh, by the way, I'm also sharing the different trading ideas on the daily basis at the Patreon. And if you would like to support me there, then I've also shared the link in the video description you can find there. Now, first of all, let me just show you uh, in this chart, this is the daily time frame, and here we have been watching that previously the price action was uh, breaking out 42,000 resistance level, $42,000 resistance level, even though we had the closing above $42,000 on this candlestick. But again, the price action moved down and still it is moving between $42,000 to uh, $39,500 resistance and support levels and once we will have a breakdown for example if the price action will break down this at uh, $39,500 support level on the daily time frame if we will have the closing below this level then it may retest the previous support at $36,000 that is also a very very strong support but I believe this time the price line will not move in this area, this zone that starts from $31,000 to $28,800. That is a very, very strong support zone that the price action has already retested after a very strong bearish move because uh, at the same time, even though we are having this breakdown from this uh, uh, rising wedge pattern, at the same time, the price action has also formed it is just about to complete another bullish reversal harmonic move. But this time, this harmonic move is on the 4 hour daily chart. Uh, therefore, it is not as that much solid move like we had previously that was on the daily time frame. That was a harmonic bullish reversal uh, bad pattern. Now, let's take a look at this breakdown from this rising wedge pattern. And ha uh, I have also placed this uh, relative strength index, the RSI oscillator here. First of all, let me just show you the previous breakdown that was happened in May 2021. And this was the big rising wedge pattern, same as like we are having at this time. But at that time, we were not having a hidden bullish divergence. Like here, the price action was forming higher highs. At the same time, uh, the, the relative strength index, the RSI was also forming higher lows. Uh, sorry, the price action was forming higher lows and the RSI was also forming higher lows. Now, move to the current situation. And here we can see that here uh, we were having higher lows by the RSI, same as like the price action was doing up to here. But after this, let me just show you after this move. Uh, we are still having higher lows by the price action. Like, for example, we had a higher low here. And here we had another higher low by the oscillator as well. And here the price action formed another higher low, but the RSI started forming the lower low. And here we had another higher low and the RSI is still forming lower lows. At the same time, the price action is forming 
the higher lows. So this is the hidden bullish divergence and at the same time we are also having a formation of the uh, Fibonacci based bullish harmonic shark pattern that has been formed on the 4 hourly on the same time frame chart like we uh, have this uh, rising wedge pattern on the 4 hourly chart and at the same time the price action has formed this uh, it is forming the completing the final leg of the bullish chart very close to complete the final leg of the bullish chart now let's take a look at the targets and this is very good for the day traders and uh, you can see that the buying starts from $38,796 and goes to $39,639 to $41,584. However, at the same time, because this is a bit confusing move at this time, we are having on the Binance exchange, it has completed the bullish harmonic bad move. But here on the Bitstamp, it has formed... Uh, it is forming the final leg of the bullish chart. Let me show you the Binance exchange. And here, uh, if I show you Bitcoin with the US dollar tether, and here uh, on the Binance exchange, we can see that the price action after formation of this bullish bat. Uh, if I, we, you can see that I have ignored this extra spike. If I place it here, then it is not retraced up to or projected up to 1.13 at least we need the projection up to 1.13 fibonacci however if we just ignore this extra spike then we can see that it is moved between point, uh, 0.786 to 0.886 fibonacci uh, retracement level and this is this uh, the, the buying as per this uh, fibonacci sequence of this bullish bat start from $39,198 and goes to 38,000 uh, approximately $38,800. So as per the Binance exchange, we are already entered in the buying zone of the bullish bet. However, if we take a look at the Bitstamp and other exchanges, then uh, we need some a little bit more down move, move to complete this final leg of the bullish shark. And from here, we can expect another bullish reversal uh, uh, move from this potential reversal zone. And let me to show you the previous move. Uh, if we move back to the previous uh, uh, rising wedge pattern that was uh, formed in May 2021. At the same time, at, at the end of this uh, uh, ri rising wedge pattern, when the price action was breaking down this support of the rising wedge, the price action formed a, a bullish harmonic bad move if we just ignore this extra spike then it was a perfect reversal move and from the potential reversal zone of the bad move the price action reversed but did not reverse back completely bullish it was even after this bullish reversal move it was moved towards the downside and continue the rally towards the downside this time we can expect that this rally can be continued because uh, we are also having the support of this hidden bullish divergence on the 4 hour hourly chart and at the same time the harmonic bullish reversal move can be really very helpful because from here we can expect a reversal move and while we, we will have a reversal move it can again start the uh, move towards the upside and it can remain above the EMA 21 on the weekly time frame like today we had the closing above EMA 21 weekly and if it will be um, moving towards the upside from here or it, at least it will move sideways here then we will have a complete solid support of EMA 21 that will be helpful for the price action to continue this rally so there is a possibility that the price action will have some consolidation above EMA 21 and you can see that this time EMA 10 is also moving towards the upside to form a bull cross with EMA 21 that is a bullish signal previously when we received this bullish signal here we can see that uh, we had a very very powerful rally so uh, let's take a look what the price action will do in the near future because the purpose for today's video was to show you what will happen in the immediate short term so this was the update so far i hope that you've liked the video then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well and if you would like to support me at the patreon because here i'm sharing the different trading ideas on the daily basis you will find here then i have also shared the link to join me here in the video's description take care goodbye